It unfolded as a handful of other bus riders watched and the bus's security cameras were rolling. News 13's Chris McKee has the video. Yeah, just indeed. And this all started when two passengers tried to get on board with the same bus pass. The driver told one of them to leave, but that passenger got right in the driver's face. If it weren't for quick reflexes, a city bus driver could have been hurt by a passenger swinging a hatchet who eventually got kicked to the curb. It happened early this year at Wyoming and Central, an area the city since removed bus shelters because of so many problems with people hanging out there. Hello, bus driver Eric Miller was picking up passengers when a woman with a yellow beanie and a man with a bandana came on board. One of their bus passes wouldn't work, but the bus driver still motioned them on board. Despite that free ride, the bandana wearing man still got mouthy. Okay, don't Watch your mouth, boy. The driver decided he wanted that problem passenger gone. Exit the bus, boy. Video shows. No, I don't walk up here. Exit the bus. The passenger going to confront the driver and that passenger sticking his bus pass in the driver's face. Get it out of my face. Get it out of my face. That shove from the bus driver knocked the passenger to the ground. He got up, drew a hatchet, and swung. Let's go. Let's go. Another passenger disarmed the hatchet-wielding man, who still traded punches with the driver. Eventually, they threw that attacker off the bus and onto the sidewalk. Get on here. Now, months after the incident, that driver was suspended for eight days and ordered to go on de-escalation retraining. Supervisors said the driver took it upon himself to get involved in the scuffle, which they said was, quote, unnecessary. Jess? All right, thank you, Chris. No one was heard, and that bus driver called police. They never found the passenger who swung the hatchet. State police say.